Hey, Mr. Gen X here, and I want to talk about some deep subjects here. I'm not going to get too deep into the philosophy of Stoicism, but I want to talk about Stoicism and our relation to that and use to that philosophy as Gen Xers because we are older and uh, it seems to me it's a much more uh, appropriate or urgent matter regarding our own demise and so basically talking about gen x stoicism and dealing with death so of course stoicism or stoic philosophy uh, originated in ancient greece and of course the uh, the romans also were prolific stoics and the most famous probably the most famous stoic of all being marcus aurelius and life is far easier in ancient rome to be a stoic when you're not one of the slaves when you're actually the roman Emperor like Marcus Aurelius was however that doesn't take away from the uh, the profound nature of his teachings and the the value of stoic philosophy in our lives because we're at that age where Unfortunately friends family are going to be passing away and I did toy with the I made a comment in the first video that uh, <laughs> kind of uh, <laughs> Kind of a karma thing, I guess. I had mentioned that how horrible the last few years have been and uh, made a comment about how much worse could it get because these last few years have been absolutely horrific. And uh, just starting this video, it's starting this channel, things couldn't be too much worse. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. Well, recently it really took a heck of a... I don't want to discuss too many details because and that's why I'm wearing the sunglasses. Uh, but it has gotten worse. It has gotten actually far worse than I anticipated. Did not see this coming. Again, as a Gen Xer in my early 50s, that's an age where parents and family and friends are going to start dying. And unfortunately, yeah, things things got much worse. Yeah, I wasn't even yeah, much worse. And, and I don't mean just that it started raining. Could be worse. How? Could be raining. But there was a sudden death in the family, and things get and, and just some more details that I I'll, I'll talk about here briefly. I'll get I'll have another video going into details of that. Just suffice to say, there was a sudden family death that is just absolutely it's devastating. One of the principles of stoicism and helping us deal with things like that and having a, a more virtuous, ethical, enjoyable life, uh, a phrase, memento mori, and that is, and skulls, it's a, it's a memento or a, a symbol of death so that we always are aware that tomorrow is not promised, death comes to all. I think uh, it's a famous thing uh, of a, on a tomb as you are now, I once was, and as I am now, you will too. It's mean that death comes to all. And basically don't put off to tomorrow what you can do today. And that's kind of what I'm going through because with this family member that just passed, I was estranged and we hadn't had contact in a long time. And I'd been pushing all the time to, to be able to make things right and, and, and to reconcile and it was put off and put off similar to like with my aunt I always wanted to get my aunt the family major up in front of a camera and get all those stories recorded and I put it off and I put it off and she wound up passing away and of course I wasn't able to do that so memento mori so on top of all the financial problems that I've discussed uh, briefly in you know some of the videos on, on this new channel uh, I had to deal with that so another aspect of stoicism and I had been getting into stoicism kind of mentioned it in the first video trying to be positive and uh, one of my favorite youtubers talks about that gives it a different name doesn't actually say stoic stoicism doesn't actually say stoicism or mention the stoics but it's very clear about the message of being positive that we don't have control all the time over our circumstances but we can control how we respond doesn't mean we're going to be perfect but it's something we work at I, I, I credit uh, that to the why I can function at all and even work a camera and even think to do a video about it uh, due to stoicism and, and recently getting back into it and and really focusing on on how I respond to things because this is this is bad this is the worst <laughs> 
And one of the benefits of that is having a more positive attitude and accepting these are the way things are. I feel bad, but I can't let it overwhelm me, and I can't be inconsolable. I can't be, I, 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 I can't be where I can't function and go to work. I still have a family to take care of. I mean, this is terrible, but there are better ways to deal with it. So on top of that, trying to stay strong and not collapse and not be inconsolable and not being able to function, I get a leak. <laughs> I get. I find out this morning I have a leak from my kitchen drain and it's behind the wall. It's behind the wall, so outside on the wall, the walkway, I maybe have to put a picture in there, it's leaking. And so you know that is absolutely, that, that is catastrophic. That I'm looking at possibly having to do a my you know a smaller remodel of my kitchen and there's a chance that insurance may not cover it but even so even though my insurance skyrocketed last year having such a major claim covered is going to make my insurance go up even higher so I have to deal with that and with the passing but through it as difficult as it is, and it is really bad. I never imagined uh, something like this happening to me at this point in my life. I imagined something like this burying the, a family member like this would have been, I, I'd been, I'd be 90 years old. So it's really tough. So it's helped. The stoicism, this is a case study in sto stoicism. This is, uh, you can, I will be given updates and, and, and how I'm doing in this journey to get out of what I mentioned, the darkest timeline, and how stoicism has helped me do that, stay centered and deal with these things. And uh, it is a, it was a pretty hard lesson to learn, the memento mori that I should have. I know you have those regrets you don't want to you don't want to make yourself crazy, but it's the, you can't help it. You want to avoid making that mistake. And again, that if there's someone that you know and love and you've been estranged, you've been separated, that there's something going on, whatever, whose ever fault it was, it's much better to, it's, it's much better to work towards a resolution that, and get back together and enjoy the time that we have. As Memento Memori tells us, tomorrow's not promised. Every day is a gift. Don't put off for tomorrow what you can get done today. It doesn't mean living, at least I don't think it means living recklessly, living as if you're going to die tomorrow. Remember a wise man once saying, I live every day like it's my last, but I'm still planting cherry trees today. It's a hard lesson, it's tough to take, but I'm, stoicism, be positive, and live an ethical, you know, an ethical, moral life. Leave this world in a better way than we found it. So, um, I'm going to end. Uh, th I think that's going to do it for this particular video. This, uh, this again is a case study, <laughs> a case study with a Gen Xer on stoicism and leading a better, more positive life. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. This is the worst. <laughs>